my god <laughs> good morning <laughs> how are you guys doing it's monday you know what had an awesome weekend and i hope you did as well waking up this morning and you know what why not when you're alive look at it <laughs> when you're alive you make the most of life let's tap into the news let's find out what's going on there when we come back we've got a few features for you Good morning. The Ministry of Economic Development officially launched the OECS Data for Decision Making Project or DDM. The director of the Central Statistical Office says the project is a game changer for the department and will help address some long-standing issues confronting it. While the demands on the department are increasing, he says, the commensurate resources to meet those demands have not been forthcoming. The project will help to change this. So this investment in statistics is very timely. And as I, indicate, as I said, this is supposed to be a game changer for us, um, ensuring that all the necessary processes are in place, um, frameworks. We, one critical thing as it relates to what we do and how we do it is the, um, the Statistical Act. And this is one of the initiatives that this project um, would be providing support to, and we're hoping that once this um, once we have a new, modernized, and strengthened statistical act, we'll be in a better position, along with the other um, initiatives, to, um, to carry out our, to execute our mandate. The World Bank has provided $22 million to have the project undertaken in St. Lucia, Grenada, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Eight million of that amount has gone to St. Lucia to address limited availability of data in the country. Meanwhile, the government has repeated its commitment to increasing access to digital services and technologies as well as skills. The pledge comes as the administration undertakes a number of initiatives under the World Bank IDA grant-funded Caribbean Digital Transformation Project. To date, we have given about 2,200 2, tablets to schools. We have given 2,210 and 200 laptops to schools. We are in the process of giving 20 smart classrooms through the digital program with the, the Caribbean digital program. And we just completed training for vendors. On Monday, about 100 vendors received their certificates after they had been trained in digitization. And government is actually digitizing a lot of of its agencies. Now you can apply for your driver's license, you can get your birth certificates and a number of services online. And all these are coordinated by the Ministry of the Public Service. The project is expected to contribute to increased digital connectivity, digital public services and the creation of technology-enabled businesses and jobs. On Wednesday, October 18th, 2023, officers of the Viewfort Police Station responded to a report of stealing at an establishment. Upon arrival, the officers noticed one man in the alley near the building behaving in a suspicious manner. The male individual attempted to flee the scene, but was accosted by the police officers. A search of his person revealed one 9mm pistol and one magazine containing 15 rounds of 9mm caliber ammunition. That individual was identified as Nigel Hippolyte, a 36-year-old resident of Bruceville, Viewfort. He was subsequently, subsequently arrested for the offences of possession of firearm and possession of ammunition without a valid license after he failed to produce a valid firearm user license. Nigel Hippolyte was later charged for the offences of possession of firearm and possession of ammunition. He was taken before the Magistrates Court where he was granted bail in the sum of $20,000 for possession of firearm and $10,000 for possession of ammunition. The matter was adjourned for Tuesday, the 9th day of January 2024. Finally, Friday was Teachers' Appreciation Day at Sanders House, an all-inclusive beach resort. Official Teachers' Appreciation Week was a couple weeks ago, but the resort felt it uh, still necessary and important to show local educators how grateful they are for their hard work, especially in an increasingly challenging time. While some continue to show up uh, despite the challenges, Sanders acknowledges that some teachers are increasingly being forced to choose between their passion for the profession and the reality of supporting themselves and their families. If you are a teacher at heart and you really love children, you will do the labor of love for your children. There are also some of us who 
have to pass through the system to get to the next level of consciousness. To those we say, while you're with us, do the best you can for the children anyway. Because we understand that while some will stay for 50 years, some will stay for three years and pass on, and they would have still contributed to the child's life for those three years that they stayed. Just do it well. Do it from the heart and do it with the courage that you need. Because at the end of the day, in our current society, where discipline is perhaps one of the harder things as well, you now have to discipline the child as well as the parent. So the parents are very happy to come into the school to curse you out. Um, and the children see this as well. So, and you can see the behavior of a child based on what comes from their homes as well. So this is no longer the age where my mother would say to me, Judy, tell me what you did so that I can defend you. It is instead, what the teacher say? And they come in after you. So again, it requires a certain level of comfort, of strength and stamina to do the work that you don't get paid enough to do. Sanders Resorts have made it a habit of fetting teachers and rolling out the red carpet for the island's educators in appreciation for the vital role they play in shaping the minds and futures of the nation's children. These are your top stories. Thanks for watching. Good morning. Thank you, News Desk. We take a break and then we come right back. Feature. Like I said, we captured quite a number of things on our run around the island, down the Sufre, down the coast. Um, one of the things we popped up on at the Coco Festival in Sufre was uh, mountain, uh, Jade Mountain. Jade Mountain has got a whole industry going on there where they are, they are growing their own cocoa crops. They use a lot of the cocoa products. They make chocolate. They make beer. So all this is, all this is made on our farm at the Emerald Estate. Really? Yes, we have the hotel has its own farm. Where we grow our own chocolate, our own cocoa from tree to bar into our chocolate stout. I love it. Yes. It's a light cocoa. Yeah, it's a very light beer. You know, it's about 5.4 percent alcohol, which is very good, you know. I can drink this. Yes, of course. I can drink it. How does it go? If, if you want a bigger glass, then let me know. I give you a bigger glass. After I'm done with it. You like that? I like it. Nice, it's nice, good. nice, nice, nice. I would have never guessed you could have done. Um, yeah, 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 with cocoa. I, yeah. You could basically do everything with cocoa. Anything with cocoa, yeah. All right. We, we grew up with the cocoa in a lot of our dishes as well. Right. I'm also the chef for Jet Mountain, so. You also want to chef? I am the head chef for Jet Mountain. What are some of the things that you cook up with cocoa, man? Uh, we do the cocoa simmers with the cocoa sauce, like a nice duck with a cocoa glaze. Wow. We use the, we use the, chop, the cocoa in our, our desserts. Like chocolate mousse, chocolate caramel, oh chocolate creme brulee, I mean chocolate everything. Yeah. Is it my pastry chef right here? Oh, we got to hurt a bit. Yeah, so she used the chocolate in many different ways. I'm coming to you, that's my section yeah. right there. That's my section right there. Now, the fact that you, like, how important is this? Because you're a hotel. Look at how this is full circle. A hotel catering to persons, visitors alike. Making cocoa, we just spoke to the, um, the, the um, Mr. F Mr. Sydney a while ago, and he was talking um, towards that that, that nature. You know, that is that is a vision that he has. But you guys have been doing this. You guys have made sure that you created the industry, planting the whole cocoa, taking everything from scratch, and building it from the How exciting is this? Ah, uh, this is very exciting. I mean, it's a joy that we are doing this. We've been doing this for a long time now. And like I said, we have our own farm where we uh, plant the cocoa trees. From the, actually from the seeds to the plants, wow. we make our own harvest, we have our chocolate lab where we take the chocolate to the hotel where we roast it and uh, reproduce our, our own chocolate, you know. You know, but well, I've, I've sampled it there and I'm ready to sample it because you said we have chocolate here. We have chocolate. What percentage are we? We have way? different percentage, we got from 65% to 92%. Wow, as dark as it gets. As dark as, as, dark as it gets. We also have some nice cocoa tea as well. You say it's the best? Yes, the best cocoa tea. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. So we 
bruciare già pezzi come tu puoi dire Oh well, she is the boss, and we have uh, Daniel, who is the uh, the chocolate here. Oh, it's Saint Lucia. So it's all Saint Lucia. Wow. Yeah, it's Saint Lucia. No expats of course. Wow. Totally, everything local, chocolate local, stuff local, everything local. Yeah. Wow. There's a local vibes up in the mountain. I love this. Yes, definitely. I'm, I'm proposing to many of you. Get more than just the hill, brother. Get more than just the hill. Nice, it's beautiful hotel. The, the, the old French road. Okay. Just up the old French road, you know. Wow. Wow. Get Mountain is the uh, the sister of the Anshasta. Yes. So you make it the road to Anshasta, you Jet Mountain. Yeah, you as a chef here. Jet Mountain is a place where all the big stars have come at me. So when they do come, how how did they receive this whole atmosphere in where you create your own, you have your own farm, you do your own thing? Is that something that excites you? Oh yes, that is always amazing for the for, for the guests. Because most times, I mean, most guests don't even know that a chocolate begins a fruit. You think like a chocolate, oh, from the pocket, you know. Oh, yes, I tell them the whole idea of the cooking, from the bean, from the fruit to the bean, to the, to the fermentation and to the roasting and to the making of the chocolate. Wow. It's always amazing, yeah. Do you normally do uh, demonstrations? Uh, yes, we do classes on the farm as well. Wow. We have something called tree tuba, where we take you to the farm, which educates you on how it's grown, and then we go to the hotel and do the whole chocolate making. Right, so but that is only that's strictly limited to guests? Uh, to the guests, for now. Yes. Yeah. For now. Oh, you wanna come? <laughs> I'm Jane Mountain, you gotta open up one day where we can come and say, all right, you take it off the show as we should. <laughs> no, we could make it happen. <laughs> we could make it possible, no problem. <laughs> all right. You're welcome. Yes, no problem. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Wonderful. Secondly, was it Thursday? Last Thursday it was Credit Union Day. Yeah, International Credit Union Day was last Thursday. But um, you know what? The entire month is Credit Union Month. But we could not have allowed the day to pass and not capture some features from what happened on that actual day. Well, it is three, two, one. It is Credit Union Day, and it will be remiss of us not to pop in to a few of the credit unions and see what's happening today. I mean, credit unions is the foundation of all financial whatever. You understand? This is where it all started as credit union. We're here at the Hospitality uh, Credit Union. We were here recently, and um, here we are today because they have their lovely representative from the Miss Good Deeds Day pageant, which is upcoming. She is on board, on hand today in the celebration here as well. So first, we're going to talk to our good friend Shani here. Yeah. Shani, what's going on today? What I see you have a whole spread, you have wheels, all sorts of things as part of today's celebration. What, what can your members expect today? Yes, today is Credit Union Day and Credit Union Day is about acknowledging what credit unions do for their members and the community. So today we have organized a, a few activities for our members, inclusive of a spin the wheel, where they get a chance to win anything that they land on. Okay, so we just want to encourage our members um, to continue doing business with us and we want to, we want to show, you, show you our appreciation for being a member and to just continue doing business with us. I love this. Um, what, any, any words of encouragement for your fellow other uh, credit unionists, <laughs> if that's a word? Okay, um, I just hope that the other credit unions take example of this and um, show the members that you actually care. Show them the appreciation that they so, so deserve. All right, <laughs> wonderful. I see you have here with you your representative because you have um, a contestant in the upcoming Miss Good Deeds yes. at the pageant and she's here with you today on hand. Hi, what's your name? Janelle. Yes, Janelle, how Janelle. are you, Jay? You all right? Yes, I am. She's I'm so doing pretty. Things. She's got dimples. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. What does it mean to be a, a representative first of the credit union and also be a part of the Good Deeds Day pageant? Well, I feel honored to be their representative um, as part of the pageant and in my future endeavors. I think I would definitely open an account here. Oh. 
Yes. yes. <laughs> I love the fact that they're taking the time out to appreciate their customers and showing them that they do care. And that's something that I believe all the credit unions should take example of. Wonderful. Um, now that you're heading into the big pageant coming up shortly, um, what do you hope uh, to accomplish as part of this pageant? Oh, um, one of the things I hope to accomplish is more exposure, working with different people, especially within the hospitality industry. Um, I also hope to inspire a lot of young ladies to take pageant, part in pageants and be inspired by me. Absolutely, I love it. So today you're just here on board, and people get to you get to mingle and mix with your sponsors. Yes, I um, do members as, as well. Well, guess what? You have a full day because <laughs> I see a spread on the table there, and people are going to be rolling in. You ready for this? Yes, I am. I've actually started engaging with a few of the customers when they spin the the wheel. They actually feel excited about know, it, it. <laughs> and winning something. They feel really privileged. Wonderful. So that's something I really like. Oh, well, thank you so much, and we wish you the best in the upcoming pageant as well yes. and in life thank you thank you happy credit union day from the hospitality credit union so today we're celebrating international credit union day and this is a, a a global celebration and I would like to extend congratulations and also happy International Credit Union Day to all our credit unions here in St. Lucia um, regionally and also internationally. Here at Janu today we are celebrating in form of giving back to our members so happening today we have our health and wellness fair where members get a chance to participate in free screening for di diabetes and hypertension and also we have vision screening we also have spa treatments happening back and foot massages happening we also have aromatherapy happening right here at the credit union so once again um, in the spirit of giving and in the spirit of uh, um, celebrating international credit union day we would like to extend you know, heartfelt congratulations to all Credit Union because this year we're not just celebrating International Credit Union Day, but we are celebrating 75 years. And congratulations to all Credit Union around the world. And again, I say happy International Credit Union Day to our fellow corporators, corporators here in St. Lucia and globally. to rise, shine, and wine with Soka Size. Leading the wine, we have Serena, Vernel, and Shani. Let's get ready to sweat with Soka Size. Get ready to flaunt with one of your favorites from the road for Cardio Soka Jam. Hey, hey, hey. Get you up there. Get my tailor. Oh, Lord. Get my tailor. Get ready to bend, get ready to bend, girl. Miss 
That was this morning's session. We hope you are feeling sexy, sultry, and strong. Thank you for choosing to flaunt with Soka Size on This Morning on DBS. And that is our show for today. Join us tomorrow right here on the DBS This Morning Show.